today I'm here with a new video and today it is time for the last part with the mini masquerade from UVS Place that is this palette of the month and I didn't know what I wanted to do today but I think I know I'm planning on doing two different eyes with this so first I was like I want to do a purple eye and I want to do a green eye but it doesn't feel like it's enough colors so I think I'm going to use five shades today I am not sure yet but it's going to be two different eyes that much I know so I will prime my eyes and then we just get started and I think I will put the shades down here uh, because I don't because this hasn't got a mirror so I have to hold the mirror here yeah, so I'm going to put the shade names here so you can follow me. So I'm going to start with Bori. And that is bright pink. And I'm going to take it in my crease on both of my eyes. I hope this is going to be somewhat good. And I just want to... Okay, I made a post at my community tab about the situation in the world right now and that I was not going to talk about this that because I want my channel to be like a safe place and I don't think it's healthy to think about it all the time I know it's hard to not think about it but I still feel that you will feel the best if you don't think about it all the time I know it's hard but yeah and I just wanted you to know that I am trying to live my life as normal as I can and if I'm going to be honest I am not outside my apartment that much more than like work and do grocery shopping once a week <laughs> more than that I am not out that much and I am still working I work full-time still I work in with I work at the warehouse as you may know that is um, shipping out food to around 70 stores in Sweden grocery store so I am still pretty safe with my work and that feels amazing I feel that that is one of the reasons why I'm pretty calm about this but I just wanted to let you know that I still is um, everything is good with me okay so like this and I think I want to do this I'm gonna try to do some kind of a blue and a purple eye and green and a blue eye so I'm going to start with this eye and I'm going to take Dahlia and Soul on this eye and I need to say this because I am <laughs> going to edit this later so I'm going to start with Dahlia and take it out here and we will see how this looks when I smudge it up at my crease I am not like always thinking about color theory because I just want to have fun with makeup and I think usually it goes and good for me. Easy is that. I think that's enough. And then I'm going in with Sola. How oh, is this a good combo? I think so, but it was not the best brush. <laughs> I think I'm all good with that eye. Or am I? One thing I love doing only shimmers on my eye is the blending process. 
He's so short. So okay, I think I'm actually done with that eye. So I'm going into this. Okay, and I'm going to start with Makita. The purple one. Out here and I'm not super impressed by this shade. But it's nothing wrong with it, but it's just I own all I always expect the best out of UVS and it's not always like that. They also can do a bad shade. It's not that common though, but all of the time when I'm having a bad shade from UVS, I am like a little bit more disappointed than with other brands. Okay, and then I'm going in with She. I haven't used this in any of these videos. Okay, don't know. I'm not sure if this is going to be a super big contrast between these two. And I like don't know which one is the darker one of them. I would wish for like a shimmer pink in this palette. Just because that would have suited my look so good. These are pretty similar. I don't know if you can see any difference at all. I can sometimes feel when I have like my eyeshadow on but not my base that I look a little bit crazy and especially when I do two different eyes I look really crazy. This just look hella strange. Like my eyebrows can't, can't save this at all. So okay I think I'm just going to have it like this. So I will take away the fallouts, fix my base and my brows and then I don't know what I want to do with the under eyes. I usually like to do the opposites but maybe it's <laughs> this is a thing that I have a little bit of troubles with with this palette. I would like a shimmery pink and I also would like a matte colorful either blue or green because it's only these two that are colorful mattes and this is more purple and this is pink but yeah I am going to take away the fallouts I fix my base and then I come back and we do something to the under eyes okay so I think I have decided for my lower lash so I think I take the matte pink that I have in my crease and smoke it under and then I take some blue on this and purple on this. So I'm going to take, was it Bori? It was. I will smudge this under both of my eyes. And then I think I go in with Dahlia on this one and Makira on the other one. And just like close to the lashes. And I think I actually want to go in with Gisa, this one, and pop it in my inner corner on both eyes yes i want to do it and i take my little pinky yes i start to like to use my pinky for this especially when i just want a little hint of an inner corner So okay, I will pop something in my waterline, put on mascara and try to choose a lip for this and then I come back with a finished look. So this is the finished look. I used Crossed by Colourpop on both my eyes and on my lips I used Riot from Lime Crime that is a velveteen. So this is my finished 
video. This is my finished fourth look with the Mini Masquerade from Yves Place that has been this palette of the month. And I am thinking about doing like little reviews in the last part of these because I have used this palette four times now and that is it feels strange to say that that is a lot but for me this has quite a lot of eyeshadow palettes is kind of a lot so what do I think about this I I think it's a good palette but I don't feel that it's that it is a palette for me I feel that this is a palette for those who who I think that this is a palette for those who like want to spice up a neutral look. I'm sitting and say that when I look like this. But I think for really being a colorful palette, I think it's missing out matte colorful shadows. As I have said so many times, it's only these two matte colorful and I would like if there wasn't like the same. One is purple and one is pink. I would love a matte blue or a matte green instead. And like these two that I have on this side, these are so similar. These looks, maybe not on the, they don't look so similar swatched on the finger, but it feels like if you, if they are doing a palette with only like eight colorful shadows, it would be fun if it was more difference between them. But that is just my opinion. This palette also has some amazing neutral shadows. Like Cairo has been my favorite for a long time in this palette and also Casablanca. I did a look with this and I love it. And also this Ada, Ada, Ada. Uh, it's also so nice and Calabar as well. So it has some really nice neutral shadows, but I don't know who this suits. Maybe it suits somebody that like to do neutral looks and just spice it up with some pop of color. I don't think it's though it's for a color lover. And that's just my opinion. It's nothing wrong with the quality of the palette. I think though, like this Makita, uh, this one is a bit dry. It's workable, but it's a little bit dry. These like blue shades, so, so good. And also I really like this one. It's perfect to pop in your inner corner. So I can recommend this palette if it has the colors that you are looking for, or if you are, more into neutrals and just one pop of colors. I think this is a good palette. I like the size. So yeah, that was all for this palette of the month part four and all with this palette. I really hope that you like this concept where I use a palette more. And maybe especially now when maybe people don't have that much money and have to save and like that I use palettes that are a little bit older. So yeah, I really hope you like this and I can just say this is my favorite eye with this look. I'm not super thrilled about this, but I think it like, because here it only looks like I have one shade and do I look cray, cuckoo cray? Not, maybe not more than I used to. <laughs> But yeah, I really hope you like this video and for the next month I am thinking about taking a newer palette because I have a palette that starts with an A that I haven't used that much that I really love. So you can guess down in the comments which palette it is. So yeah, I'm thinking about doing that. So yeah, it was all for this video and all for March palette of the month. I really hope you like these videos and... I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!